Alright, this is Exodo and I'm back for this last bad English speedrunning tutorial of Bugs Bunny and Taz Time Busters category or Bust Token. So in this live video I will show you how to go and how to perform the last word, the trust invasion era. So remember the first video how we entered the Viking era, we're about to do the same. So here you can go out of band with a dive jump like this. Once we are out of bound, we will warp and go to the Transylvanian, Transylvanian era, which is just here. What I recommend you to do, to go fast and to be in the good direction, is once you are out of bound, you keep holding up and left until the camera moves for the second time, like this. I keep holding up left, one, two. Once the camera moves for the second time, just keep holding up and then start mashing the other button, like this, up left, up, and I mash. I warp, and I, I, I'm about the right direction, so keep mashing, or kind of mashing, and go here. Be careful, this is no certain ground, we will just go through. So, let me warp again, like this. There is solid ground, but it's it's pretty close to the loading zone, so just try to land on the loading zone. Alright, for this last era, now you just save the game, because I will soft lock in a few seconds. You first need to complete the race token. So for that, you need to roll, go here and talk to this bat. You just have to, to keep walking and a dialogue will show. But if you jumped just before you talk to the bat like this. Okay, I failed it, but you may soft load the game and it's over, so just be careful. Alright, for this last race, you can either jump, do nothing or crouch, and have to avoid some obstacle in your way. I recommend you just to crash all the time, and not to worry about those I saw on the bats. What you have to worry about is those crocodiles, and also It was uh, crap. I don't know the English name. You have to worry about them because both kill you just by one hit. So make sure you avoid them. You can keep holding the crouch button, which is the same as the over button, and you just have to go through the level. There was not much to say about it except for some places, which I will cover in a few seconds. So, correctly boundaries. So, now there is, an there is an invisible wall to my right, and here you cannot go to the right of this thing. You have to go left. You have to remember that it's look, it looks like you can go to its right, but you can't. You have to go to the left. You may kill some runs just by making these stupid mistakes. It happened to me before. And not just once. So, just keep crouching. Well, you, you are not. Uh, you don't really have to, but just do what you want. I go to the left, then to the right, on the left of the crocodile. And that's that's the main danger of this uh, race. So. There's not much to say about it left. You can do whatever you want. You can you can take damage just for fun if uh, if it's um, if you want to. Here I like to go right because I feel it's kind of safe. You can hit those things. It's not a big deal. If you're low on health, you can take those carrots. So basically. There's nothing to worry about in this race except for the previous things I said. Alright. 
this race is pretty long and as you don't have many things to do it can be a little bit boring but don't worry this is the last one Right. The race is almost over now. Be careful to those things which fall from the ceiling. And uh -oh. there we go. The race is over. You collect the token. And you can mash the jump button to leave the race. Alright, from here I like to take days as soon as possible to go there to spin. Here I like to jump instead of spinning, I think it's faster. And we're about to do a gate clip, which we call usually Z clip. See that token? We're supposed to do a lot of stuff to get it, but we can get it by doing what we call a gate clip. To perform a gate clip, you need to make days like this is touching a gate then turn around and walk just a little bit so this is not exactly next to the gate or is a little bit of place like this you can see but you have to remain very close to the gate once this is done with bugs you have to dive you need to jump and dive behind this and if you if you did it right you will clip behind the gate. I failed it. This one is pretty hard. So I recommend you to practice it a lot before getting into runs because you may fail it like once, twice, four, six, eight times in a run and it can be really annoying. So be sure you can do it pretty much, uh, I will say, under five times consistently. So I'll try to get it like this. It's really precise positioning, there's nothing much else to say. So once this is done, collect the token. And we have to collect the level token at Zuvenia. Please note that a gate clip or stays. Let's do it again. <laughs> Let's do it again. Ahem. Let's do it again. Alright, you can see Tez lost her HP. So, if Tez has only white 1 HP left, don't go for the clip. Otherwise, you will soft lock with bugs in this cage and you can do anything. Alright, once this is done, Go here to Zuvenia. Zuvenia may be the longest section of the world run. So in the Moon Valley we had to to work on three stones. On the Dragon Ring we had to turn on three sets of statue. On the Royal Gardens we have we had to collect three pears and now we have to turn on let's be ready for it. Four switches. <gasps> so, when you will be in the level, you have to throw a carrot on this bell to make the gate open. I've never seen it myself, but I have told me sometimes the gate can close once it's opened. So, I don't know what to say because and how to to deal with it because it never never happen never ever happens to me but well know that this can happen then you have to go there to throw another carrot to this side you can see there are a lot of room why well, a lot <laughs> four rooms each one is closed by a gate a gate. You can open the gate by making the sign point at the, this gate, like this. See? So, for gates, for switches, I guess you, you can see it coming. What you can do to be very fast is 
when you enter the level, you're about here, I think. Instantly throw carrot to the bell, and then okay, maybe he threw two carrots. I don't know. Throw carrot to the bell and start charging the roll. Go there and call Cortez just before releasing the button. Aim to the sign and throw carrot. With Tess, you will need to to use this bubble gum. I think the first time we see bubble gum, so I will just show you how it works. Tess, it's a bubble gum, and you can you can inflate the bubble gum to gain height. But if you try to inflate too much, it will blink, and then if you to keep uh, mashing, you will just fall. Same applies if you don't uh, inflate the bubble gum enough. So. We have to travel on the other side, which is very simple, honestly. You don't have to worry about timing your machine, just go there. And this is the switch you have to turn on. What you can do to save a uh, few seconds is once Taz begin, begins to hit the bubble gum, take control of bugs, throw carrot at this sign. And then uh, start working on the to the over gate like this because Taz has an animation as an animation where he was a bubble girl inflates so you can do anything so by moving bugs you can you can gain a few seconds not not that much but it's still that all right first switch then take control of bugs whether or not you did what I said. Turn the sign in this direction. Go for it. Call Tess. Oh yeah. You need to know that in this level you cannot call uh, you cannot call Tess or bugs everywhere. Like this, you can hear that sound. I cannot call uh, Tess here. You can usually call your your character when you're near the gate. Or in the central area, sometimes it works uh, in other places, but. When you are about the gate, no, you can call the uh, silver character. So, Cortez about here, and then to make the second switch appear, we have to work on this one, dive, and on this one, like this. You have few seconds to do this. It's not that hard, but what I recommend you to do, especially if you begin in the game, is once you turn the first one on, keep holding up. And once you are in the water, dive. Don't try to make a jump dive or whatever seems faster and might be faster, honestly. Because you may end up like this, not going to the right spot, and sometimes it's hard to hit the second uh, switch. So once this is done, just go here and jump on the switch. Alright, after the switch, switches are done. Now, take control of task, call bugs. And there are a few strats you can do. Um, I will cover the main strat first. So, for the third, for the first switch, go here, third days. And there is a very hard puzzle where we have to, pu to push those cages on the switch in order to make this water despawn and so we can go into the rabbit hole to reach the other side. But something very interesting is that if you go on this switch, you can see the water falls down, and if you get the switch, the water uh, comes again. What you can do is leave the switch before the animation, like this, and the water is still at this level. You can do it twice, like this. And so you don't have to, to worry about moving both uh, cages. At this point there are two things you can do. I Even if I don't recommend going for it, what you can do is to make Tess stay on this switch so bugs can go into the rabbit hole Up, by diving and turn on the switch. I don't recommend this for a reason is that when you're leaving this place and calling back Tess, 
it's not is no longer the switch so this cutscene will appear and you will lose a tiny bit of time but if you feel comfortable with it just go for it what i did for what i used to do for a long time is once i turn this switch on to twice i go with this and push this cage on the switch then you just have to go here turn on the switch and you go back, you're closer to the gate so you can uh, avoid a bit of bracket tracking. And this is done. This is, this is the strat I recommend you to do. Well, if you're aiming for a very fast time, don't worry about this. Once you leave this place, throw not one but two carrots to open this gate. And to collect the to reach the third switch, we are about to do another throw. Be, be careful, this one is not that easy. What I like to do is when I'm about to a good spot, I use the first person mode and I keep holding both camera button and hit the throw button with with, with the both camera button holding like this. Cette phrase n'a aucun sens. Enfin bon. So I will go out of one. If you're not precise enough, let's say like this. So what I aim for is to have the the bottom of the wall and the and basically the game window to be parallel like this. And sometimes if you're not precise enough, this will happen. Bugs will not bounce on your head and it will not go out of bounds. So like this. Then you have to warp once again. To go to this place. If I remember correctly, this rat is about five seconds faster than uh, what I showed you before. So you can go for it if you're confident enough on your skill to get uh, out of bond at this place, because you will need anyway to go. I would have one there to go on the fourth switch, that's the last one. But it's not that easy, so if you don't feel comfortable with it, it's just do the regular. Excuse me. <coughs> the regular strat. So once uh, once uh, only the last switch is, is left, you can either go out of bound, which I recommend, or do the intended way of connecting the switch. So, what most of us do is the out of man uh, option. So, go there, over uh, like this, in direction of this building. Be careful though, because you see those roofs. If you try to be on the top of those roof and uh, you're hovering, you may be locked. Oh, I'm not. You may be end up being locked into the burning by an inevitable wall. Let me show you. Alright, let's warp. That's why I don't go straight to the building. I make a little bit of a detour. See? I cannot go back to to this place anymore. I'm locked out of bounds, which is bad, obviously. So we have to make sure you don't fly over those roofs, or you can do the regular strat. Well, the intended way: <laughs> you go here, take a bubble gum, and you have to wait all the time in, it inflates. I don't exactly remember how much time it saves to go out of bounds. I think it's something like more than 10 seconds. The optimal way to go to inflate the bubble gum is you inflate it like this, wait a bit, and before Tess starts losing hail like this, you press the jump button another time like this. 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 Of course, you, at some point you will see the bubblegum blinking, so just wait for a moment and you can mash again. 
to make a to make the bubble gum be at the right spot. So there is the final switch. There is one more threat time. No, it doesn't worth it. There is another way to to activate the third switch, but it's very hard and doesn't worth it because it's lower than the one I showed you. At least for the full B. So we turned on the four switches, and now it's night. You can do two things: either the entire way, or to go out of one, like say what, like what we did. But for some reason, the map is not the same. So if you try to do a flat of one here, you will not succeed. This will happen. It's not possible anymore. So you can do two things. I will show you the regular uh, way, the intended way, is once again by taking a bubble gum, and you will have to fight a boss. Well, it's not that hard, but still something. So, for the bubble gum, the timing is hop, 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 hop. You can guess. On this blinking, I wait a little bit and then I start uh, inflating again. Alright, see this boss? We have to fight the boss to go on the other side to get the token. What we have to do? Uh, yes, now that knight has fallen, you can call uh, the other character pretty much everywhere. You have to hit those plants, take those striking pills and throw them at this plant. Like this. Fighting the boss is the reason why the intended way is slower. So if you somehow find a way to just maybe do a gate clip into this, you may have uh, found a faster way of doing the venia at night. Well, maybe I can do it. No, I guess so. so. I will now show you what I personally do, which is a bit faster, but it's just a bit more complicated. Not much, honestly. Alright, so you go back at the place where you turn on the first switch with the bubble gun. When you eat a bubble gum, the game has some points where you cannot go to avoid some to ab ab <coughs> excuse me to prevent abuse, I guess. So if I try to go there, nope, the bubble gum just disappeared. But uh, we can actually go over just by being high enough. So, you inflate the bubblegum to gain height, and once you over the gate, you can go there. Now, what we are gonna do is reach the token, but this is not as easy as what it sounds, or may look like. Because, first inflate a bit the bubblegum to reach this pl Oh, this was not intended, so let's do it again. Alright. So, when you can go here, you're still inflating the bubble gum to gain height. Like this, you go over those towers. And then, you don't want to gain more height. In fact, you, you want to lose height. So, what you're gonna do is... You're gonna do this. Stop, stop inflating the bubble gum, and once it's blinked, you mash the jump button like I do four times. You go through textures which are not walls. So you can see I lose height just a bit, but it's enough. I'm below the ground. The reason we do this 
is because there is a loading zone here which brings you back to the central area if you get to it so you need to collect the token by going underneath it and once you got it what you want to do is to keep moving to reach the loading zone I told you about like this and then you avoid the cutscene but the, you still have the token I'm still looking for a faster way to, to do the vignette night if you find something well it is very nice because I keep sort of looking for a faster way and I cannot find it so I think this is where we can save the more time once this is done we have every token of the game and have to defeat track which is a final boss charge the wall run through stairs go here jump 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 here you call test and you go here now you can do two things what I recommend you to do because I find it easier and is faster is to perform an acme clip well the acme clip so what we're gonna do is go there and then go out of bound for the world like this okay to do so you need for us to go between the acme box and this phase press the over button we can allow you to stick like this keep holding up and then right to go here then release every direction keep holding the sneaking button and press left down up if done in the correct timing you will go out of band so like this I sneak up upright and release all direction left down up and I'm out of band once you're out of band at this place what you're gonna do is basically doing almost straight forward you will just make the camera move to the left a little bit what I like to do is when I'm mashing the, the other button I usually make mash 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 camera mash 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 camera mash 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 camera to press the camera button three times so what we're gonna do see when we enter the after band, I keep holding the other button until I can see bugs. Then I start mashing. So the entire acme clip, in the way I do it is okay. I sneak up, upright, release, left, down, up. Mash, 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 camera, mash, 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 camera, mash, 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 camera, mash, 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 and when you will wrap. You can release every button. You should, you should be just above what the place we are aiming for, like this. See, we are at the stairs, and this is the place we want to be. The other things you can do is a bear head. In the name of bear head, we'll find uh, this uh, clip. So uh, instead of showing, the bear head allows you to go through gates, basically. Well, to go out of bounds when there is uh, those doors. So, instead of uh, showing you here, I will show you the last one because you need to do a bear head anyway. Once you got there, by falling down, as you call Tez, and with Tez, you go to the other side of the room to reach the door. And you will perform a bear head. Alright, so, call bugs. With bugs, jump on the door. You can see there is a spot if you jump high enough, or you can work for a few seconds well not a few seconds but for a tiny moment you can also jump when it's done you can keep jumping like this also it's not easy and it's not what we are aiming for we will try to go you can see I'm hitting an invisible ceiling we'll try to get there so what we're gonna do is jump here almost at the center of the door and do another jump like this to land about here what you can do to make it easier or just a bit slower is to do a dive jump see this way it's very easy to go there if you're not confident enough once you're there just jump and you will reach the boss fight sometimes 
this happens, which means you don't even need to hit jump. Bugs will fall in the the loading zone by itself. So, the rack is the ultimate drink for sure, at least in unique percent. This boss is divided into two parts. The first part is pure randomness. You can see there are four spots like this where Drag can go. I'll go at one of those four and throw you something. What you wanna do is to jump onto Drag when he comes. What I recommend you to do is as soon as you... Okay, let's kill this before uh, things get worse. What I recommend you to do is as soon as it starts, take whatever bugs or taze and go to this spot and make the camera so you can look at the two spots. If Drag goes there, like where he was, or here, you can uh, you can handle this. If not, if he is at one of the two other spots, too bad. It's just luck. Sometimes Drag can make a lot of time to come where you want it to be. But as soon as he's there, jump on it. And we'll enter the second phase. In the second phase, we have to move this four statue to make them just next to the coffin. To do so, you kill Taz and jump from bounce on uh, over Taz's head, then call Taz and move the statue with the action button. After the first one is done, Drag will start uh, trying to attack you. So, what is uh, the, bit, the more frustrating is that when you do this and try to go for it, Drag will try to stop you. What you have to do when this happens is to go back next to the coffin and then next to bed to bounce over Tess's head. Quick enough, because if you don't do so, Drag might be back again like this. But you can prevent this, in fact. This is a backup in case Drax uh, shows up and try to stop you. Alright, so, what you just heard was Drake being under the statue, which can be really, really annoying. Sometimes Drake will just prevent the statue from falling and the game will soft clock. It's all. What you should do when this happens, if assuming you cannot uh, just end the run, is to pause, go to central area, and we will, you will have to go back all the way up to Drake from the central area. Alright, so, you can prevent Drag from spawning uh, like this, so what you can do is to stop Tez not to close the windows, let's say like this, on the second to last uh, square on the floor. This way, we can see there is no problem, Drag is not here, but what can happen is that you are a bit too far from the window to get uh, the ledge. You can usually get it with practice, but know that this might require some priceless jump. Alright. And finally, the fastest way of handling statues is not to make bugs bounce over Tess's head, but the contrary. You see, when you when bugs is here. You can jump over his head and then do another jump. This is harder because you have to do the second jump manually. But you can do it and it's a bit faster because unlike the regular way, you don't have to... Okay, let's do the regular way. Now I call Taz and just the time Taz makes to come, it's just a tiny bit of time that you lose. It's not that much a big bill in all the second, but I just want to talk to you about, just in case. So what you can do, especially if you're aiming for top times, <coughs> excuse me, once more, is to work with Tez. Call bugs around here, so, Tez, so bugs will uh, spawn on the second to last uh, square. Then jump on the top of, of bugs' head and do another jump. As I said, it's harder, but you can make it with practice. Well, Bugs is a bit too far. Like this, it should be good. Like this. 
and then you just have to push the statue and as soon as the fourth statue reaches this place it's over you finish the run congratulations you completed the unpost token of <coughs> of Bugs Billy and Taz Time Busters. Well, I, I hope this series of videos can help uh, someone. I really enjoy doing them, so I hope this can be useful. I'm sorry once again for my bad English, I try to make my best. Please be indulgent. If you have uh, still any questions, feel free to ask them and I will gladly answer them. See you guys and thanks for watching.